That rain is it? No. This is the Mavic. What is it again? The Mavic Pro? Mavic Pro. I've seen some demonstrations on this. got a GPS for it. The GPS is built in, but I got another one to put on it, so in case you, the other one can't find it, if you ever lose it. Right. Plus I have insurance on the whole thing. That was an extra 130 bucks. Hmm. There's a lot of, on YouTube, you can find all kinds of videos of crash compilations of these. Mm -hmm. Mostly because people are doing stupid shit with them and not paying attention. Mm-hmm. This thing. If the geese fly over, you can go up and fly around with oh, the man. geese. That's one of the things that crashes these things. You fly them around some birds and birds attack them. Wow. That's the app. You can download it for any phone, really. Any smartphone, you can download the app for it. Huh. This protects the camera. Mm -hmm. It has another protector here to keep the. It's a real delicate gimbal there. You gotta be careful. Start it by holding that down once, then hitting it again. Yeah. Now it's hunting for satellites. It, it gets up to 20 different satellites. It's looking for them right now. <clears throat> so whatever the satellite, it, would, would they be able to use it to see through the camera also? No. Mm -hmm. Not that I know of. <laughs> Not that you know of, right? It's like you're doing some so work see, it's for ready them. to go right now. <laughs> so I hit position here. Uh huh. And then I'm going to lock where it is and I'll come back wherever it is and I'll land right back there again. Facing the same way even. Alright. So I hit that. Set current aircraft position as home point. Yes. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. And it does an automatic takeoff. Hit that. I'm going to precisely record takeoff point. It goes up 30 feet and it hovers there and takes a picture so it remembers exactly where it was. Hmm. Now that stops, it'll always come back to the same point. That's freaky, man. I'm moving the camera right now, see? Like it. Oh, yeah, okay. You put it in sport mode, that's the fastest mode. It's got a four mile radius. 4.3, actually. Wow, oh my god. It goes up 400 feet. So let me see the camera from there. Whoa. Uh, holy. <laughs> can you zoom with the camera or you just get what you You get? can, but I got it in 4K mode right now. You can't zoom in 4K, but it's got two times zoom. Hmm. Oh, new building. All right, so now, I'm gonna push return to home and it's gonna come and land exactly where it took off. Here it comes in. It'll turn, it'll stop. It, it'll turn, it'll come back, it'll stop again, then turn again. You can barely see it up there. Holy, where is it? The 
look at it. should be right, right above, above us. us now. Look, look at this. Oh, yeah. So it's turning right now. Mm -hmm. You can set the return to home altitude so it'll clear any trees on the way. Huh. Is it going to land? Yeah. a slow landing yeah it'll correct itself as it lands to make sure it lands in the same spot see there just corrected mm-hmm We get some target practice out of this. <laughs> I'm gonna do a hand take off now. That little camera man, boom. It stays wherever you put it. Like watch this, it, you can, it'll handle 40 mile an hour winds, it'll just stay where it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like that Boston Dynamics kind of gyro stuff. So we have a little update on this project here. I'm about to glue down this plate board. I, uh, I drilled the holes in the cement and in the board uh, using the uh, using the oh, hammer drill. Worked pretty good. It's a Hitachi. We've cut back. We're starting to square off this under uh, floor uh, board. And we're gonna have to even all this out and grind grind some of this down to make it flush. I just wanted to catch this before I put it in. I got one continuous bead going all the way across and we're about to screw it in. Tap cuts.